What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video. And I have something oh so special to show you guys. But before we get into that, for those of you that are frequent viewers, you know, that that uh, you know are, are that are already subscribers, you guys already know what the channel is about. We cover some of the best war content you will find in this game here on this channel. Uh, for those of you that are new, that are new to the channel, that are just stumbling across this video, number one, make sure you subscribe. Um, but yeah, that's basically what we like to do on this channel is we show you guys unique attacks, unique attack strategies, non-meta attacks. I mean, we cover all the bread and butter, all the normal stuff, but the, the content I really like featuring it are the attacks you do not see every day, and that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you guys in this video. Let's do it. All right, guys, so right now, I had a couple people hit me up and said, Riggs, you have got to come check out this hit that happened in the FPC India War against none other than One Hive 2.0. Shout out to them. Uh, they had This was a random matchup. Just to give you guys a quick background before we get into the attack. This was a random matchup. Uh, FPC India did have one extra Town Hall 11, but regardless, as you guys see on the screen right there, an eight-star victory for FPC India, so they put on a awesome performance and here's one here's one of the few reasons why um wait until, wait until you guys see this so yes it was this one right here so what we're gonna do i'm gonna hit replay as you guys know i'm gonna go ahead and hit replay i'm gonna hit pause so one thing when this update first dropped is a lot of people were talking about how you know town, town hall 10 is ripped you know that it's completely done uh, I do want to remind you guys, you know, because the Inferno Towers and the Expos. One thing I do want to remind you guys of, even before the update, we have seen maybe two that I know of, two, maybe three, 9v10, three stars, uh, pre-update. Post-update, we've already seen a couple. Um, and here's one, here's one of them right here. And a lot of people also ask, uh, especially down in the comments, you know, why is it always Lalo? Uh, for these Town Hall 9s that, you know, have, that are blessed enough uh, to three-star Town Hall 10 with a, uh, with a Town Hall 9, you know, why is it always Lalo or a form thereof? I would say the, the, the biggest reason why is because I believe, other than the Wall Breakers, the only troop that you can't, that, that you don't upgrade from Town Hall 9, even as a Town Hall 10, is Balloons. So, when you think about it, Town Hall 9s, have the same exact level balloons uh, that Town Hall 10s have, you know, balloons being level 6. So that's one of the reasons for that. Uh, but it, it's always going to come down to... Um, and definitely don't try this at home. I mean, get, <laughs> recapping a, a 9v10 triple just makes my Town Hall 10 3 stars just all look like shit. Uh, especially, you know, when the Town Hall 9 can do it. Uh, but it's all about beautiful execution. Just, f I mean, you literally have to have flawless execution um, good base identification. You got to know what the hell you're doing. Uh, and yeah, it just comes down to, to executing the attack. And also base layouts are going to have a huge um, factor, you know, playing into this. You know, a Town Hall 9 cannot three-star every single Town Hall 10 you put out there. I'm, I'm sorry, that's just not going to happen. But what I want to show you guys, this attack from Arup, a.k.a. Depression taking on uh, Mouthpiece 74, and as you guys see, it's going to be a classic Sui Hero Lalo. But not even so. Look how many wall breakers he has. That's the first thing you notice as we hit play. And this does get really, really close down to time with about four seconds left. Um, so yeah, this was right on. This was right on the money. So he's going to go ahead, start off with King, he, just, just like a traditional Sui Hero Lalo, uh, King tanking for the Queen. He's going to go ahead and drop down a couple wall breakers. They hit the. Um, the mine that was on the outside of the wall right there went ahead and dropped some more. Popped the first layer. Notice he still has six more giants still tanking the archer tower and the cannon uh, just to the right of the queen. And there goes the second layer break. So he's already taken out 
two archer towers and when queen steps inside this compartment she's gonna go ahead and take out two air defenses so this entire six o'clock section of the base is completely gone so you know his law is gonna be starting down here at about four o'clock and the balloons will be going counterclockwise around the base drops down one archer to lure the hound and the balloon over because you don't want the the minions and the pups to pop the enemy hound so, you know, he goes ahead and gets it out of the way. So he's going to go ahead and start off with three heavy groups of loons. Drops on one camp hound, one CZ hound. So only two hounds he's bringing for these two air defenses. Uh, followed up by two haste, a rage right there in the core over that wizard tower. And he also had uh, two skeleton spells to take care of the enemy queen. Goes ahead and drops down another haste. And notice he's dropping in loons up here at the top to make sure that those loons don't travel way off on the outskirts of the base. So he goes ahead and drops down these loons on the sides to keep everything nice and tight. Heal spell over that wizard tower. And right now he's out of spells. As a Town Hall 10, you'd still have probably one more rage. You'd have another haste um, or a heal, you know, a combination thereof. But right here with these, with the way the loons split, it ended up being perfect. Loons go ahead and collapse that Inferno Tower. That was absolutely huge. Um, right before those loons went down, that they were tanking uh, that Wizard Tower for a little bit. So right here, look at how close the life gets to these loons. They go ahead and get one drop. Can he do it? Right there goes ahead and gets the second drop off on that Wizard Tower. The last defense, guys, that is going to go down was the bomb tower and you see he did start minions uh nice and early could not believe that when i saw it and this was uh, a scouted base so they did know that this was a um it was not a damaged cc that was going to be coming out they knew that was going to be a hound um but i mean beautiful beautiful hit guys it is still very, very rare to see these 9v10 three stars. Uh, but I had to bring you guys this one. I'm so glad uh, that FPC India hit me up. I do want to give a big shout out to them. And even the enemy, even the enemy hound still ended up popping uh, at the last second. But minions are going to go ahead and take out that clan castle. And that is going to wrap it up. There's the three star right there, guys. But yeah, this attack, I mean, a 9v10 is still very, very rare. All the ones that I've seen have come from Lalo, I did just get word that there was a ground attack um, that was 9v10 3 star over in Dragon Rejects. Um, but yeah, for the most part, we're always going to be seeing these with Lalo, for the most part. Uh, but still really, really rare. I mean, hell, some Town Hall 10s can't 3 star 10. So, uh, huge shout out to Arup. Huge shout out to everybody over in FPC India uh, for inviting me over to get this content out to you guys. Hopefully, Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully, um, uh, if you guys liked the video, make sure you guys leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Comments, questions, or concerns down in the comment section below. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.